Mike Rumel. Yep. All right, everybody. Cutco Mike here in the Cutco Mike test kitchen. Hold on, Lee. We'll, get, we'll grab it in a second. Put it back. Um, I want to show you one of my favorite gadgets of the Cutco gadget line. It is the ice cream scoop. And uh, just to show you, we are taking it right out of the deep freezer. Lincoln, ice cream, please. Yes. Bring it in. Go get it. All right, so we haven't let this sit out all day. This is uh, coming right out of the freezer here. And if you don't have the Cutco ice cream scoop, you wanna make sure you put that on your list. So this is a pretty cold, rock solid, the cheapy stuff from Aldi's. And you can see. Yeah, yeah, looks good. So we're gonna do a cone for Lincoln. You guys like cones or bowls? Comment below. What do you prefer, a cone or a bowl? What do you prefer, Lincoln? Um, cone. All right, so Lincoln taught me a trick that he learned from his mom. What do we put at the bottom? Tiny marshmallow. All right, you take a tiny marshmallow and you put it at the bottom. No, that's big. <laughs> Not that, that, that big? No. All right, that one or one. two, probably two for a bonus. I'm four. All right, you get a couple of these minis, a couple bonus I can, ones. I can take a couple. Hi, Huggy. Three of them. What do you eat, Huggy? Dog food? All right, so always, I have do you guys do that for your kids? A little three. You got three? Yeah, I'm four. All right, you know they love that sugar. All right, let's show everybody the scoop here. So this, does anybody know what that does? Does anybody know what that does? What do you think that helps it with? Sugar. It's not just sugar. It helps with what? So the ice cream doesn't leak through the bottom, right? What are you eating? Come here. Built a cow. Oh, he ate a cow. So, Huck's down here. Eating a cow. That looked like I a cow. I thought it was a marshmallow. I did too. But this was the cap for the door thing. This little knucklehead almost took down a plastic marshmallow, and we might have had performed CPR here. <laughs> Say what's up, everybody. <laughs> all right, we got a special guest appearance, Hucky. All right, so. All right, let's see if we can do this. You good? All right. He's trying to run around. All right, so. It's going to be hard to handle all these kids here. Let's put this one back down. We're going to give them... All right, there you go. Give them the marshmallow box. All right, so if you don't have this thing here, this thing's built like a tank. It has got a super sturdy like tip on it. Top. And what I like about it is actually the uh, it's lifted up. See, uh, there's a little bit of um, space there. So when you put it on your countertop... It actually, yeah, it doesn't roll like a cheap one would. Hold on, Link. But there's space underneath here, so it's not going to get the ice cream all over the countertop, right? So, right. So if you're wondering what I mean by that, see how there's, there's space. So, all right, let's take it away. And we could have went through it right away, but just to kind of show you here, we it's going to basically take that ice cream right. into those nice, perfect balls. And um, here, Link, bring your coat over, bud. All right, so if you don't have this scoop, it's a must-have. It's also great for cleaning out the seeds. A double? Yeah. It's also great for cleaning out the seeds of, and you can get that side, get right into the deep corners there, get that perfect scoop. And this will get the frozen, the frozen ice cream, rock solid, get your nice balls, and um, feel like you're your own little cold stone. What do you guys think? Pretty awesome? And, um... Uh, what do you top. want? Some sprinkles? Yeah. Does anybody, should we give them some sprinkles? Yeah. A couple sprinkles on top? Yeah. All right, let's give this kid some sprinkles. I want to do it. You want to do it? All right, pour the sprinkles over the top here. <laughs> Hold on. Nice. There you go, buddy. That's enough. All right, there you have it. So if you don't have the ice cream scoop, I think it's retail right now is 51, worth every penny. I've converted people, not to knock bad companies, but um, Pampered Chef about 10 years ago recalled all theirs because antifreeze was on the inside. Tupperware is good because they have a good guarantee, but I, I, I like the cut go. You got the strength, you have the durability, you have the forever guarantee. If you have an old one and you're started pitting, I think this one here is an older one. So, just to kind of show you, I need to still send mine in. But so one of my older ones here that we haven't sent in, it's got some pits on it because this was called chrome plated zinc. And what happens if you leave ice cream on there, there's eggs in ice cream and eggs are very corrosive. So it causes it to pit away. 
So if that happened to your old one, bring it to me at the fair or ask me how to send it in. We send it. We helped about 20 people this summer get theirs replaced. But the, the new one from two years ago, they redesigned them to be all stainless steel so they won't uh, pit or, or rust or anything like that. So even if yours did, it's still the most amazing scoop, but it is guaranteed forever and it'll last you a lifetime. All right, everybody. Cheers, Link. Cheers. All right. Thanks for watching.